animals I've got. Sat nav. Hi, well there we are, we're in the, uh, the lovely um, dressing room of the Maltings Theatre, a lovely theatre up in Berwick upon Tweed, Scotland, or Borders. Um, and you know what, the feelings I've had since I've arrived here this afternoon, it's building all the time, the, the, the spiritual and psychic energy. And I know the energy out there in the auditorium listens to this. Those lovely people are waiting for you to go out and deliver the goods of linking with their loved ones, getting those precious connections. And I feel up to it. My guy Sam is also up to it. So is Sean with me here. So, yeah, this is going to be, I really feel a great night. So we had a lovely show last night, and the audience were fantastic, and Derek loved it as well. And, you know, he's always very tired after these events, don't you, Derek? Derek? As you can see, back to his normal self. Nod. Land and nod. A photograph, this is Gwen Cam. <laughs> Where's the man gone? Where's he gone? Well, just uh, spruce my hair up. Uh, here we are this evening in the subscription rooms in Stroud. First time I've worked here in this lovely, lovely town. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Hi, Hi. can I take a selfie? Yes. <laughs> Who's that guy? Yeah, so this is the subscription rooms, um, which is basically um, a dance hall originally, apparently. Still is to a degree, but they've changed the format and they're trying to bring it into more having a stage and uh, an audience. <laughs> There you go, done a couple. Brilliant, thank you. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, my pleasure. Great. Thank you. Are you enjoying it, Dr. Oh, fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm still actually uh, on my summer break from my tour, uh, the 2015 tour. And I'm sure some of you know that uh, my holiday was cut short uh, whilst I was in Spain through the uh, sad, very sad news of uh, my good friend's Colin Fry's uh, illness of cancer. Um, and we actually, looking back at it now, uh, it's only been still raw a week and a, a so days since I went to his funeral with Gwen. And it was very, very, very sad to look back and reflect the years that I've, we've both known Colin, um, to be, I think back now, it was first in Scotland where Living TV sent both of us whilst I was conducting uh, the Most Haunted programme and he was doing his Sixth Sense show. And we got brought together by Living TV to do live uh, readings for all the people that worked in the call centre in Livingston in Scotland. And we worked so hard thinking back to that that we did a hundred people at a time in the audience. They were all thrilled, they were chuffed. Why? Because they got an hour off work to come and sit away from the boards. Um, and so we, we left exhausted after the first day and we were there for three days. And I remember flying back with Colin and said, you know what, it was exhausting Derek, but totally enjoyable. What do you think? And I said it was. And we got to know each other in those first three days. And as the years went on, um, I was touring and then Colin suddenly started touring in the theatres and before we knew it we started uh, in one, one season maybe doing six shows joined together Colin Fry, Derek Akora, uh, all very enjoyable, uh, wonderful e evenings, uh, wonderful company of a man that had a, a very very dear sincere um, ability to help people. He was a giver, he wasn't a taker in life, he was a, 
he was well loved, probably well loved by hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people that he's touched upon across the world over the years with his lovely mediumship. But a human being, second to none. Um, and I like to think that we got on very well. We, we classified ourselves as very good friends, even though we, he lived what, 250 miles away in the south and I'm up in the north. Um, we still kept in communication by phone, by text, by email, telling each other funny things that were going on on the road, what happened last night in Doncaster, what happened last night maybe with me in Belfast. Um, so we had a, a very good, deep uh, friendship and relationship. But I don't know what you think about this, but here I am a medium, Colin Fry a medium, after all these years, you probably think, well, he knows a lot about the afterlife. Colin knows a lot about the afterlife, so why worry about it? Uh, and why have the emotional feelings like us people who are non-mediums? Well, I'm afraid we're, we're human, and you know, I, I, you know, I know. Yes, he's in a very lovely place now, with his mum, his brother, who he lost when he was very young. He's there in a very happy land. However, it's I suppose it's a little bit selfish of ourselves, of the ones who are left back here and to see what goes through your mind. There's a young man, still what, 53 years of age? And he has to go over. I know a lot of people who are very young that have to go over, and it's so sad. It's the sadness for the people left behind. Uh, my belief is Colin no longer is in any pain, sadness, or anything like that. He's probably enjoying himself. And probably with the idea that he's gonna come back and visit, no doubt he'll give me visits at the theatres, maybe in my home. Looking forward to that. As I say, it's only been just over a week since his passing. Uh, but just it, it, to even like to myself and even Gwen, we're no different than anyone else. We're human and we, we feel, we have that emotions of, you know, okay, we will meet again. That's my belief. It's not goodbye forever. Amen. But, we're no different and we, we have a sense of bereavement also, like anyone else. Well, I think I've said all basically what I want to say about lovely Colin. However, I will point out that a week before his passing, um, he sent both myself and Gwen a very heart-rendering, very uh, emotional and touching uh, message, um, thanking us in his words. I won't divulge all, but just thanking us that he had the privilege to work alongside me, be my friend and Gwen's and it was so, so, it was just wonderful and we'll keep that with us for the rest of our lives, remembering our good friend.